Hi, and welcome to Fantuck. Today we are going to cover, if I'm pronouncing this right, Ad Astra. Ad Astra, Ad yes. Astra. This is one that I'm actually really excited about. Uh, it's a sci-fi flick, and um, uh, it's, you know, it's got Brad Pitt, my boy Brad Pitt. I love him and a lot of stuff he's in. Um, it looks very interesting. Let's just kind of jump into it. We'll talk a little bit more afterwards. All right. This is Major Roy McBride. I'm attempting to reach Dr. Clifford McBride. This is Dr. McBride's son. Dad, I'd like to see you again. Hmm. I recall how we used to watch black and white movies together. And musicals were your favorite. I remember you tutoring me in math. You instilled in me a strong work ethic. You should know I've chosen a career that you would approve of. I've dedicated my life to the exploration of space. And I thank you for that. Looks like near future? Yes. Happening out there is a crisis of unknown magnitude. We believe your father may be involved. My father's dead. What exactly are you requiring from me? Exploration isn't always a noble venture. We have to hold out the possibility that your father may be hiding from us. We have a job to do. Are you ready? I'm ready. In the game in this. Yeah, it's it. Uh... I'm kind of excited about it because it's got a lot of big name actors. It's been one of those that's kind of flown a little bit under the radar. It's uh, one of those films that you, you, you almost feel like there's going to be some crazy reveal in this um, in this film, you know, just because of how kind of almost quiet it's been on the front of things until recently and with the kind of actors and stuff it has in it. You know? Uh, moon base, Mars base, so that looks like they're flying near the sun. I mean, this is, feels like a near future ish kind of like a, a setting uh but he's also talking about like seeing black and white fo uh, movies as that anyway yeah. um yeah i was like kind of went and wonder what the big reveal or the big yeah and, and, and like i'm excited about it because I've, I've read a little bit about it and it's like that's not the only preview actually i haven't seen that one i, I, I don't want to dig too deep on it either. i, I don't want to find out like i it, did you know. see another preview for it but basically from the premise what i can gather is that his father was on a space mission his father disappears and they assume by all rights and reasons that he's dead and now it's you know years later he's an adult now and you know with involved in the space program and there's stuff going on and so, with, the, with the world and they believe that some bad stuff's about to go down and that his father is somehow if not responsible he's part of it they think, and they think he can maybe reach his father and get him to come back so you think they're going to go like you know wormhole aliens um all uh, of the above. I think it, uh, they could just go completely crazy on the, on the yeah, idea. Yeah, I just, I think... Because they didn't show any of that kind of... No, and that's why I feel, I feel like this, this movie, you know, they're showing kind of a slow, steady, kind of a drama feel to it. I feel like once you actually go and watch it with the actors and stuff they have in it, and now the kind of hype they're putting behind it, I think that there's going to be a little bit more to this movie than meets the eye. Yeah, because right now and, this feels more like First uh, Man than it does Interstellar. Yeah. And I feel like it's going to, I feel like an interstellar feel is going to be a lot what you get from this film. I think it's going to be more of an epic. and uh, Maybe with aliens, though. Yeah, and yeah, but we'll, we'll see what, what all it entails, but I feel like it's it's going to be a lot of fun to go and watch. Hey, they could just throw in a uh, Quato and Free Mars and I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I like Brad Pitt. I think a lot of yeah. what he does is good. Um, you know, Tommy Lee Jones. Tommy Lee Jones Liv is fantastic. Liv Tyler hadn't seen her in a while, but she does good stuff. I mean, yeah. you know, so uh, 
I think we got a pretty good cast. I think I've seen a movie with her before where somebody's in space and they see her face on a computer screen. Yes. Armageddon. God, was that Armageddon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was a good film. That was a lot of fun. That's one of them I remember you and Robbie watched several times. That the was a, I was surprised that didn't get brought up as a guilty pleasure on our uh, right. list of those because that was one of the ones that, God, it's awful. That, that kind but of, it's so much fun. I mean, that, that movie kind of, like I feel like, too, was uh, an inlet for, uh, inlet for uh, all of the disaster films. I'm not saying there wasn't anything before that, but after that, everything started getting highlighted. You know, it was just like, and, and it all came in twos. It's like, you got Armageddon, but you Deep also impact. got Deep Impact. You got Volcano, but you also have Dante's, Dante's Peak. Peak. You've got, you know, The Core. You also have whatever movie that, that came out. One. I'm sure it did. I bet you money there was one, <laughs> you know. I think and, I think the other studio was like, no, nah, no, nah, you're good. We got, you, got <laughs> you, you covered it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you, know, you had all these disaster yeah. movies and everything that they came in twos, and it was just it was funny because like some of them was like a well, good. I always joke that there's a good one and a bad one. Uh, there's but, there's the over the top one, and then there's a dramatic one. Like yeah. uh, Dante's Peak was the dramatic, realistic one to Volcano, which was a Hollywood over yeah. the top. The Deep Impact was the dramatic, more realistic one, more realistic yeah. one <laughs> compared to Armageddon, which they actually used in NASA for years as training. Yeah. On, Name as many things wrong with this movie as you can. <laughs> <laughs> I really liked Deep Impact. Actually, yeah. Deep Impact was my favorite of the two. Um, I remember know. back when they revealed that like, Morgan Freeman's the, the the president. Now it's like awesome. Cool. He's always the president. Yeah. No, and it, like uh, you know that, that movie I really liked the, the whole Ellie thing. They're like Ellie, Ellie, and they're using that as a code word. And then she's like you know, the big reveal extinction when she figures event. it out. It's extinction level event, Ellie. And that and like, the, um, oh. they actually did have a big impact that you know washed up pretty good. Meanwhile, the Armageddon avoided. Well, Paris and Hong Kong got hit pretty good. But other than yeah. that, that wasn't like any world changing. Yeah. Events Where in or, Deep Impact, it's like, oh no, people are gonna die. Yeah, that's a <laughs> big tsunami. Yeah. Yeah. So. But anyways, I think this movie, it's, it's, there's not a lot to talk about right now without yeah. me really digging I in deep. I don't want to but, dig into it. I'd rather just find be out. Be surprised. Yeah. Like sometimes, that's what I'm saying, it has that feel when you watch it where you're like, no, I'm going to go watch this. Because Interstellar was the same way for me. I watched a couple previews and I'm like, hmm, this looks like it's going to be really good. And then that first weekend, I didn't get out to see it and everybody's like, it's really good. I'm like, tell me nothing. I don't want to know anything. And I went and watched <laughs> it and I was glad, you know, because... Yeah. That just not really know what you're walking into. That's a really good feeling for me. And with a lot of movies, it's like with my horror movies, I don't always need a monster. It's just the the thing you create in your head is better. And sometimes the anticipation for these films is better than them like giving up the whole plot in the preview. So yeah, Interstellar. We're way off on left field on from this ad astro, but Interstellar is a, interesting in the movie how they could start off like in a dusty cornfield and make it about interstellar travel. Yeah. Like that just that transition throughout the movie. It's just. There's a lot of things I really liked about that movie, but it was just, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Yeah, and uh, folks, give, it a, <laughs> give us a check out and uh, if, you know, make some comments. Just don't give away too much to me if you, if you know more <laughs> no than I do. No spoilers. <laughs> All right, thanks.